Today's video is about glomerular diseases and kidney disease. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. We're going to talk quickly about all the medications and things that you should be doing with conventional medicine. And then we're going to talk about all the natural nutritional support that you can give to your kidney. If you're new to this channel, this is Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, kidney survivor. Been living with a kidney transplant a long time, much longer than it was supposed to. And so I made this channel to give you information to empower yourself. Things that you can do that are within your power to help your kidney disease. So this information comes from the executive summary of the KDIGO, uh, oh, that's Kidney Disease Improving Global Outcomes 2021 Guideline for the Management of Glomerular Diseases in the Kidney International Journal. So uh, what we're gonna do with this, this talks about all the latest medications, everything you can do. Now, when you have a glomerular disease, that's, um, that always encompasses inflammation of the glomerular. The glomerular nephritis is the term for the inflammation. And that encompasses diseases like membranous nephropathy, IgA nephropathy, lupus, and anything where that glomerular nephritis, where that glomerular becomes inflamed. So we're going to put this for download on our website. So you can download this, read it yourself. It may be hard to understand, but you can always bring it to your doctor because it gives you the most up-to-date management. Don't assume they know this and they're already up-to-date. There's a lot of things you can do for each individual disease. So what I recommend, really, really important, especially if you have one of these diseases, is you need to get the opinion of three nephrologists, preferably one that specializes in just this. Don't go to one nephrologist. That is a mistake right there. So that's what you want to do. You can go to our website. We're going to have this for download. Don't even have to sign up. It's just embedded in the article, so you can pick it up. Let's talk about some natural stuff you can do. So what they mention in here is, is diet. The most important thing they mention about diet is that a low, low sodium diet, 2,000 milligrams or less per day. That's going to decrease the protein in the urine, protein urea. So that's super, super important. There's a lot of other therapeutic diets or dietary things you can do, like lowering protein, uh, et cetera, but at least do the sodium. You can look at other videos about other diets, but get the sodium down, the salt. Don't add salt. Buy items with very little salt or salt-free items. Packaged goods, fast foods, anything packaged only has a lot of sodium, so you want to wa watch out for those. Now, what else you can do? CoQ10, a super nutrient for the kidney. It's a supplement. You can purchase it over the counter, online. And this is a really, really great supplement that's shown to benefit these autoimmune diseases, uh, these diseases of inflammation, so it helps with the inflammation. I recommend 200 milligrams, upwards of 400 milligrams per day. We have another video about CoQ10 if you want to learn more about it. Uh, so sodium CoQ10, the best of management. Some exercise, they actually mentioned, does help uh, slow down the rate of these kidney diseases. So we're not looking for excessive exercise. Um, they really, re really recommend like five days a week, half hour, 45 minutes in that area. And you build to that. Even if you can only do 10 or 15 minutes of walking a day, you start there and you can increase further and further and further. Now, one supplement that has shown some benefit in glomerular diseases like FSGS is reishi mushroom. So that has shown beneficial. So you definitely want to give it a try if you have FSGS. If you don't, but you have one of these glomerular diseases, you, you can give it a try anyway and just see the before and after. Give it 90 days or so. Um, do your blood work before. Take it along with everything else you're doing because you don't want to just take one thing. You want to do everything. Um, because you don't have a lot of time to try just one thing and say, well, this didn't work, didn't work, and you get rid of it. You want to take everything because you get a synergistic effect. You have a much better likelihood of improving your situation. So reishi mushroom, you can take it 30, 60 days, along with everything else. If it's, you're not getting improvement, don't do it. But if you are, stay on it. So something you can check out. Thanks for watching, everybody. A lot of other videos. Uh, I hope this video helps a lot of people like, comment, subscribe, uh, ask any questions. We're here for you. Bye.